So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long, and simplified questions typically have an expression or an equation in the question that can be simplified. So we see that that's what we have here. We have an expression, so I'm going to just rewrite it. So I have absolute value, then I have another absolute value, negative eight plus four. Let's make sure this does not look like a one. Okay, make those thicker. And then minus another absolute value here of 3 minus 9, close absolute value, and close this outside absolute value as well. So let's simplify this. So let's deal with what's inside each of these absolute values first. So negative 8, uh, negative eight plus 4, right? So I'd have here, and then here, negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Again, I don't want to make anything look like a 1 here. And then minus, and then uh, 3 minus 9 is negative 6. So I'd have absolute value of negative 6. And then, of course, I'd have the large one there. So the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. All right, so that means no, no longer do I have a need for these absolute values because I took care of what they are asking me to do, which is to turn that negative 4 into a positive 4. Then I have my minus sign. And then again here, the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6, right? So again, no longer a need to write the absolute value around that because I did what it asked me to do, but I still do need this absolute value. So I have 4 minus 6. So inside of this absolute value, 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2, right? So I still have that inside. And the absolute value of negative 2 is equal to positive 2. Therefore, my correct answer here is choice D.